Paul's most wanted is on the run tonight after stealing a tanker truck, crashing it into a garage, and then running away. Investigators say the truck was stolen from a work site nearby. Fox 12's So Young Kim spoke with neighbors who saw it all unfold and joins us now live in Vancouver with the details. So Young. Pete, we're here on Northeast 138th Avenue. We'll show you where that truck crashed. That fence had been torn down and is now back up. The garage the truck ended up in is just behind that fence. And neighbors tell us this isn't the first time something like this has happened in this roundabout. Oh, yeah, it was loud. People who live near Northeast 138th Avenue and 32nd Circle in Vancouver say they were startled by a loud noise at around 5.30 Wednesday morning. It sounded like a lot, like a bunch of gravel getting dumped. Turns out it was the sound of a tanker truck crashing into a neighbor's garage. I see a water, or a truck with a water, a big star rental you know, water tank on it. And he's going really fast, and then he goes out of view around the other side of the roundabout from where I'm sitting, and I hear this won't crash. Vancouver police say the truck had been stolen from a work site nearby, crashed into a detached garage, then the driver fled on foot. Someone who lives nearby says they sprung into action. I did chase the guy for a bit as he was running off trying to flee the scene. Honestly, it's a stupid thing to do because when you get into a situation like that, you're asking for trouble. But didn't want to further escalate the situation, so that person responsible got away. The Star Rentals Company confirmed that the truck was stolen off of their lot a few hours before around 2 o'clock Wednesday morning. Neighbors say they're thankful. No injuries have been reported, but hope more can be done to prevent this from happening again in this roundabout in the future. This has happened three times since we've lived here, and every single one of those times it was a driver in a stolen vehicle. I honestly think it's a matter of crime enforcement. Thank God that nobody's hurt. Now back out here live, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information related to this case should contact police. Live in Vancouver, So Young Kim, Fox 12 Oregon.